The anime starts with Kugano, the greatest exorcist on earth getting rid of the monsters that are attacking the kingdom. However, seeing the incredible strength he possesses, the royal court is fearful of him. They know they are incapable to defeat him, so they try to assassinate him by using the student he loves so much. On the brink of his death, Kugano doesn't understand how he ended up like this. He is confused about whether the reason they are killing him is that he is the strongest or he made some mistake. Regardless of it, Kugano reincarnates into the future, where he can continue being the strongest but this time being cunning as well. He is reborn as Seika Lamprouge. In a world where magic is everything he doesn't possess any. And as a result, he is looked down upon by one of his half-brothers, Gly. Despite being magicless, Seika doesn't mind it because instead of magic, he possesses incredible spiritual power. He turns seven years old. However, no one cares about his birthday because he is a son of a mistress. He never celebrated any of his birthdays and as a result, doesn't look forward to them. Every day Seika indulges himself in studying the world and its people. He always tries to improve his spiritual abilities. One day, Gly brags to be able to enroll in the Magic Academy in front of Seika, and teases him for not being able to learn magic because the academy requires the student to possess magic. One day, while his brothers are practicing using the magic item, Seika watches them by standing next to their father Blaze. After firing his spell, Gly teases Seika and provokes him to use the magic item. Luft, the oldest brother didn't like it and tells Gly to stop bullying Seika. However, Seika agrees to give it a try. Using the spiritual energy with the magic item, Seika fires a powerful magic. Both Luft and Gly are shocked to witness a blue flame spell without any incantation. Because to cast a spell without any incantation, the must have years of knowledge. Blaze seems a bit surprised at first. Then he explains that there are some cases where people born with no magic power can produce blue flames with the help of the magic item. For the next four years, Seika increases his knowledge. Whereas Gly enjoys his academy life. Seika is now 11 years old. After gathering enough information, he summons a beast that he had sealed in his previous life. The summoned beast's name is Yuki. She is very glad to see her master again and hugs him tightly. Seika tells him how he ended up here. And after it, he transforms her and hit her under his hair, so that no one can see her. In the corridor, Gly gets angry at one of the slaves, Yifa for spilling some water. With lustful eyes, he sees Yifa's body and orders her to come to his room at night if she wants forgiveness. Seika is watching all of this and knows this will get ugly. So he steps in for Yifa's rescue and tells Gly that he needs her for some work. Gly didn't like the interruption and attacks Seika. However, Seika blocks it. Frustrated Gly leaves and warns Seika that he will pay for this. Yifa thanks Seika for his help. She takes him to a baby monster that is hurt. She requests Seika if he can heal it. Seika tells Yifa to turn her head away because he cannot focus if someone is looking at him. In the entire mansion, no one knows Seika has spiritual power and Seika prefers to keep it hidden. Everyone believes it's a magic item he uses to create magic. Seika heals the baby dragon. And Yifa is very happy. For the past years, Seika has been observing Yifa and knows that she possesses a special power to see and control elementals. For reference, elementals are spirits that are invisible to normal eyes. In Seika's previous life, there was someone with the same power that helped him in his exorcism. And that's why he wants Yifa to become her ally. For the next year, Seika takes Yifa's permission and trains her to increase her special power. Today Seika turns 12. And yet again no one in the family cares to celebrate his birthday or to give him a present. He is used to it and goes outside after eating his lunch. Luft and Gly are learning some combat lessons, so Luft asks Seika if he wants to learn them. But just then, two maids come worried and alerts Luft that a huge monster appeared near the forest and is heading towards this mansion. Luft looks outside and is shocked to see the monster is already here. The monster is an elder newt, which is capable of causing mass destruction. And looking at its size, Luft is panicking. Gly is so terrified that he runs away. Luft orders her maids to take everyone to the deepest part of the mansion and stay there until everything is resolved. However, Seika ignores Luft's order and rushes to fight the Elder Newt. Yifa and another maid are about to get attacked. Fortunately, Yifa uses her special power and protects them. After they go to their safety, Seika lures the Elder Newt away from the mansion. Everyone in the mansion watches in horror as Seika takes on the Elder Newt. Seika uses his power and easily defeats the Elder Newt with just one strike. Everyone in the mansion is amazed and couldn't believe that the Elder Newt got defeated with a single hit. 
Seika used his spiritual powers but made it seem that he defeated the elder Newt using magic power. Blaze who just arrived is terrified to witness the scene. After he is filled in about the situation, Blaze treats a mouth-watering dinner for Seika's bravery. Blaze is proud and compliments his brilliance in using fire magic against Elder Newt. Using this opportunity, Seika asks his father's permission to get into the magic academy with Yifa as his servant. Blaze agrees for him to enroll but refuses to send Yifa. Because she doesn't have enough magical power. To prove her capabilities, Seika made Yifa demonstrate her power using a magic item. Everyone is in shock because the power is enough to match a mid-rank spell. Blaze upon seeing the magic power, agrees to let Yifa join the academy too. However, Gly is frustrated and couldn't let a son of a mistress and a slave get into a magic academy. He tries his best to convince his father. But Blaze ignores Gly's request. For the past years, he has been observing both of them. He knows Gly wastes his time with friends. Whereas, Seika works hard on his skills. Gly gets furious and challenges Seika to a duel. If he wins, Seika will leave this home, or else he will leave the Magic Academy and join the army. The conditions are very unequal, but still Seika agrees to the duel. Their father decides the duel to be held tomorrow, with only using the low-level spells. At night, Luft comes into Seika's room. He wishes him a birthday and gives him a present. Before leaving, Luft apologized for not being able to communicate properly with Seika for all these years. He wishes him the best for the duel and requests him to go easy on Gly. Seika smiles and agrees. After Luft leaves, Gly is being impatient. Outside Seika's room, he shouts and challenges him to a duel. Seika goes down and reminds him again what their father said. Gly is furious and doesn't care about it. He wants to have a real duel right now by using every rank spell. Seika warns him about them being extremely dangerous. But Gly doesn't care. Gly then attacks Seika, but he is shocked to see him unharmed. No matter how many spells he casts, Seika is unharmed. Seika uses his spiritual power and paralyzes Gly. He then breaks the doll's arm to give the same pain to Gly, without actually breaking his bone. Gly is in extreme pain. Before he goes unconscious he tells Seika, that he was just lucky to find the Elder Newt, and lucky enough to defeat him. After Gly goes unconscious. We got to know that all along it was Seika who was responsible for the Elder Newt's attack on the mansion. A few days ago, Seika went to the forest and summoned Bonds. A beast he tamed in his previous life. Seika made him go to the mountains and make the Elder Newt attack the mansion. At present, Seika and Yifa are ready to leave for their entrance exam after their father got to know what happened at night. On the carriage, Seika gives a necklace to Yifa which will help her in using her powers consistently as they continue their journey to the Magic Academy. The scene shifts to the mansion. Their blaze worries for Seika's safety. It is revealed that 12 years ago, Seika was delivered as a newborn to Blaze by an unknown lady. Seika is the son of Blaze's younger brother, Gilbert. All Blaze knows about Gilbert is that he went missing in the demon territory. In the present after leaving their luggage in an inn, Seika and Yifa go to give the entrance exam. At the location, Everyone is surprised to know Seika is the son of Blaze Lampro. The instructor tells Seika and Yifa to put their hands above the crystal for her to measure their magic power. Yifa is the first one. Her magic power is weak. And she possesses wind and fire elements. However, when it's Seika's turn, nothing happens. Everyone is shocked to see Blaze Lamprobe's son doesn't have any magic power. They are disgusted to know Seika is using his father's connection to get into the academy. The instructor tells Seika that even with no magic powers he can still give the exam and enroll in the academy. Just then a red hair commoner named Amiu comes and measures her magic power. The crystal ball starts to glow very brightly. Everyone is surprised to know Amiu possesses all four main elements and has immense magic power. Everyone is amazed and couldn't believe a commoner could possess such capabilities. Before she leaves, Amiu shows her frustration over Seika for using his father's connection to get into the academy whereas commoners like her have to work hard. Seika couldn't believe what he is seeing. Amiu is the reincarnation of Seika's student from his previous life. 